My name's Nick. I started Nick's Electronics Repair about 10 years ago, and since then we have fixed over 25,000 devices. In today's video, we're going to show you how to clone a Saab 9.3 ECU. We're going to be using the bench method using a DC power supply in our computer. We're also going to be using the OBD Link SX and this homemade device that we bought from eBay from someone that 3D prints these parts. We'll have links in the description down below if you want to purchase these tools. So we'll go ahead and connect our ECU. We'll power up our power supply. Right now we have 12 volts at about 0.2 amps. We have the DC power supply set to about 0.5, but typically it only pulls about 0.2 or less. All right, we're gonna be using the Trionic 8 can flasher. We're gonna start with the Trionic 8 main. We're gonna go to settings. We'll wanna make sure we're on the COM4 adapter. Unlock system partitions that is selected. Okay, save. So first we're gonna go ahead and read this ECU so we can save the data just in case we need it in the future. We're gonna name it 30678 ECU data. Okay, and this usually takes about a couple of minutes. So we'll fast forward through this. Now that's completed successfully, we're going to switch over to the MCP, so Trionic 8 MCP, experimental, and we're gonna be dumping that. So read ECU, and we're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna call that the MCP data. Save. Now this one should be a little bit quicker. It is still gonna take a couple minutes, so we'll reconvene again in a minute. Now that we have saved all of the data off of this ECU, we can go ahead and flash it. We're gonna stick with the Trionic 8 MCP Experimental. We'll do that one first. So this time we're selecting the flash ECU. Okay. And we're gonna to go to our ECU dumps. We're gonna do Bob the Saab OG ECU. Now, as it is programming, I am noticing there are a lot of dropped frames, so it is retrying a lot. So if we scroll up, there's quite a few. And just so you get full context, I do believe that this ECU is defective, so that could be why we're getting so many dropped frames. Okay, and it looks like we're all set. Okay, so next we'll go ahead and dump the main ECU. So we'll switch over to that, flash ECU, okay. And this time, instead of selecting the MCP, we'll just select the normal ECU. Okay, and it is comparing. It's saying, do you really want to flash? Yes. New VIN, yes. Okay, and it looks like we are all set over here as well. We are ready to now test our ECU that's newly cloned to our Bob the Saab. So let's go ahead and check it out. We just installed the ECU into our 2006 Saab 9.3. All right, and the engine's turning on. And it looks like it's working. If you're interested in checking out our installation and removal video, you can check out this video next. Otherwise, if you found the content helpful or useful, make sure to leave us a like, subscribe for more content, and thank you for watching.